Hi there, I'm Tim Warner from CBT Nuggets. Welcome to this CBT Nuggets micro nugget on REFS in Windows Server 2012. So what is REFS? REFS stands for Resilient File System and it's the next generation file system in Windows Server 2012. Just by way of review, we'll recall that a file system represents a mechanism for reliably storing files on a disk. We've come to expect over the last dozen years or so the new technology file system or NTFS to provide our default storage on Windows disks and Windows Server 2012 still continues to fully support NTFS however there's some important design goals in REFS that makes this a very compelling file system number one as you know disk storage and volume sizes increases all the time the maximum volume size in REFS is 262,000 exabytes that's compared to NTFS's 16 exabytes so I would think that we're okay with REFS for the next dozen years or so. <laughs> now, resilient file system, what is resiliency? Resiliency refers to bouncing back from a failure. Probably the chief design goal that Microsoft had in REFS is integrity and resiliency itself. Integrity meaning this is a transactional file system that's truly self-healing. The resiliency means that the volumes, REFS volumes, are intended to be online all the time, such that that through this self-healing process, corruptions, file corruptions or individual cluster corruptions can be healed with a minimum or absence of downtime. Another aspect of resiliency is that Microsoft built REFS to work in conjunction with storage spaces. You can expect another upcoming micro nugget that covers this feature. Basically, storage spaces is the new logical volume ma manager built into Windows Server 2012 that supports mirroring, RAID, etc. Now, besides the increased performance, increased volume size, the transactional self-healing and resiliency, the final main goal of this file system is that it does provide backward compatibility. Now, you can't convert an NTFS volume to REFS online, unfortunately. I guess I should have added that in my gotchas list, but files can be copied or moved from NTFS to REFS, REFS to NTFS. Some other gotchas that you need to be aware of, no boot. You cannot boot from REFS in Windows Server 2012, only NTFS. The file system is inaccessible even with Windows 7. Only Windows 8 and Windows Server 2012 can locally read REFS volumes. Also, NTFS disk quotas, NTFS compression, EFS have all gone up the flu. Now, before you think to yourself, I thought you said that we're backward compatible. Note that a lot of this stuff has been absorbed either into storage space or other server roles. The two main areas where we interface with REFS and Windows Server 2012 are the Disk Management Console and the Storage Spaces Administration Console. Let's first fire up Server Manager and I'll show you how this works from a disk management standpoint. It's really quite easy if you've ever formatted a disk with NTFS. From Server Manager, we'll open Tools, and from Tools, we'll open our good old Computer Management Console. In Computer Management, we'll select Disk Management. I have a brand new disk that I've added, as you see, a very small one. We're asked to initialize either with the Master Boot Record or GPT. I'm going to just use the default Master Boot Record. And why don't I right-click that unallocated space and create a new simple volume. You'll notice the Welcome to New Simple Volume Wizard pops up. This looks exactly like it did in Windows Server 2008. R2. Let me quickly change my drive letter identification. Click next. I'm going to change the volume label to data. And if I open the file system drop down, we see FAT32 still around even in Windows Server 2012, NTFS, and sure enough, there it is, REFS. Click next and click finish, and we have ourselves a new REFS volume. The other place in Server Manager, like I said, or should I say the other place in Windows Server 2012 where we interact with REFS volumes is in the File and Storage Services area, Storage Spaces. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to cover this in a separate micro nugget, but basically what this is is a logical disk manager where you can associate volumes 
generically. It doesn't matter if you have two disks or 20 disks. It's what's called a just bunch of disks or JBOD architecture. Hand them over to Windows Server 2012 and you can then chop up those disks and create all sorts of nifty volumes. You might remember with NTFS we could create spanned volumes and all that. This is simply the next generation of that. So that's really all there is to it. Most of the REFS whiz-bang stuff happens under the hood and you or your users should never know that anything is the matter. All you all should know is that you're able to reliably store data on disk and not suffer from corruptions. I hope that this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.